Where does our food come from? It was a real question that we had in our office uh, 12 years ago, actually. And it was a, a serious concern because we had people very interested uh, in how food was produced, where does it come from. The Urban Farming Institute really is a platform for as many growing technologies and capabilities as we can fit on this piece of land that the city of Oakland Park allows us to use. When we first started this idea, we thought it was gonna be a lot of fun. It was gonna be, gee whiz, it's gonna be barbecue and beer on a Saturday afternoon and everybody's gonna show up and you know, it'll be a, just a big deal. Well, we found that that was not the case. Uh, the people that were coming to us were, where does my food come from? How do I grow it? How do I grow it more effectively? Uh, I have limitations, I have a balcony, uh, my mobility is not quite what it needs to be. Uh, how can you help me out? And uh, that led us then to building 65 raised bed gardens uh, and as well as elevated gardens for people who have mobility issues and people then who have no issues at all and just want to learn how to garden. And every Saturday we do a talk at 10, uh, which is a free open to the public class on techniques of gardening. So today is gardening by the numbers. Uh, what is the economic advantage of growing food in an urban setting and can you do it successfully? Uh, we're really fortunate today to have uh, Sally Smoller here from Formosa School of the Arts. Say hello to Sally. Urban Farming Institute has helped me in many ways. So I'm the librarian at Plumosa School of the Arts. I also have a garden club. In my garden club, we have nine raised beds. And I teach the children from seed to harvest how to grow and, and enjoy healthy, nutritious produce. But when I come here, I know everything I'm learning is true, tested, uh, there's no guesswork involved, and I know that the products that I buy here are better than anything I can get in the big box stores. So I buy my seeds here, I buy my supplements here, I buy my soils here, and I just know that everything's going to work out just you know, the way it should. It's really an important sort of thing to realize that there are resources available locally where high quality nutritious food can be found below the cost of what you're going to find in your favorite shopping location. And why not reach out and take advantage and understand that this is something that for sure you can do our training here is free. Today, we'll have a student with us, uh, Vicki Abraham, who's finishing her graduate program, and we'll have Chef Pat Quinn, uh, who cooks for some of the uh, NFL guys. And uh, they will be here to demonstrate uh, how you can take very simple product and, uh, from your garden and produce really dynamic, beautiful, highly nutritious product because you know that the product has been minutes away from the kitchen, as opposed to something that's been on a truck and in a distribution warehouse for who knows, maybe a week or more. So while we like the, 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 the fun and frolic of growing, we understand that there is also an academic requirement that comes along with be being able to reinforce uh, the fun. Uh, we reinforce it with the opportunity of having our, our farmers, our growers, our community interact with professionals in the world of high-level high nutrition. Hi, my name is Vicki Abraham. I'm a graduate student dietitian at the Dr. Karan C. Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine, Master of Science in Nutrition. It's something that my program developed a relationship with UFI, Urban Farming Institute, as they are hosting as a preceptor. So last semester, I was able to intern here and develop recipe cards, work with the community-supported agriculture, and do many more things here at the garden. And one thing that I strongly believe in is that food is medicine, and I see that strongly practiced here at Urban Farming Institute. So that's one of the reasons why I keep coming here. I also am a master's student with NSU, and we bring in other research students from NSU to different, different environmental programs here. Uh, we're going to be starting up an orchid project, and then we're also doing an oyster project, which is part of my master's program with NSU. Without UFI and the, and the property and infrastructure we have available, it'd be difficult for research students to start uh, the process because it's very time consuming to collect all the materials and equipment, and this allows for us to have a nice space to conduct that research. One of the important projects that we have here is the kids' garden. 
And we realize that if we don't get kids with an understanding at an early age, they're never gonna get it. So we involve not only the, the, the child, but also the parent. And so it's an 11 week program. Uh, it started with uh, art, art in the garden, and you can see some of the art on the domes. Today is going to be the, uh, the activities, the, the shapes of nature and how they relate to what goes on in the garden. I was so drawn to this place. I walked through the magic door, so to speak, as John would call it. And the Urban Farming Institute means so much to me as a mother. I'm really looking forward to uh, learning more about nutrition, especially for my children. And so that's one of the reasons why I come here all the time, because I want to learn how to grow nutritious food for my family. Now, as people come in here, they really learn about how to reduce uh, their footprint. And that is so important these days because we know our climate is changing. And it's really important for people to learn how easy it is to make small changes in their everyday life, from growing nutritious food, from using the right things in their garden so it doesn't harm our environment and our ocean. And, and those small changes can have a really big impact. So we start locally with our community, but we have wide ranging impacts globally. We want to branch out. We want to be able to take what we do here and move it into backyards so that people have, the, though they may never come here, they still have the resources available to them uh, that we practice and develop here at the Urban Farming Institute.